The February 2021 edition of Radcom arrived today and on page 70 which is the VHF and UHF column where I usually turn first of all one of the co-authors have asked for people to make contact there we go VHF UHF because for one reason or another they've had not many reports for this latest column and they've asked expressly for people to write in with details of their experiments and observations and not just their logs so I thought this would be a good time perhaps to um, show you my VHF UHF listening station this uh, desk also doubles as where I work from home so uh, apologies for the mess and here's a, an unscripted video of some of my experiments and observations uh, that I've found since starting to work from home back in March 2020 so I'll talk about my antenna farm first of all up in the attic um, the main antenna is a collinear 2 meters 70 centimeters but I also have a dipole up there for the 4 meter band a dipole for the 3 meter band FM broadcast band um, a vertically polarized HB9 CV for 70 centimeters and a horizontally polarized two element Yagi for 2 meters you might think well having that amount of metal that close together will cause all kinds of problems with interaction well surprisingly it doesn't or not to any noticeable extent anyway so if anybody's listening to this thinking to themselves well I would like to put more than one antenna in my attic but I reckon it's going to cause problems and not work then uh, please let this video be an encouragement to you to have a go I realize it's not ideal but um, if like me you are not good at clambering on roofs and putting antennas outside then the attic can be not a bad option especially at VHF rather than UHF where uh, attenuation from the roof tiles seems to be a bit less so in terms of the radios this end the HB9CV is connected to the ID90, uh, F, sorry, ID51 Echo that I won in an eBay auction recently for quite a good price there does seem to be more of these coming on the market now possibly because there's a newer model coming and people are flogging off their old ID51s there's nothing on the GB7CQ repeater at the moment it is dual uh, D-Star and DMR and obviously this radio will only pick up the D-Star transmissions but I can run this on super low power which is 100 milliwatts the coax is a thin bit of coax I had lying about there's about three miles line of sight from here to where the repeater is and um, even on 100 milliwatts and the loss in the coax I get reports of 0% um, bit error rate so a perfect signal coming back and uh, it's three miles as I say which isn't bad at 100 milliwatts although at least some of that is partially across um, open fields so the 2 meter 70 centimeter antenna is connected to my Uniden Bearcat uh, UBC 75 XLT scanner looks like the batteries are just about to go flat actually um, but the point about this is although the collinear officially only covers 2 meters and 70 centimeters as a general receive antenna it's pretty good even on frequencies below those that it's designed to work for or work on um, I'm just going to turn that off because the battery is virtually going flat. So, for example, in the latest Radcom column, 6 metres is mentioned and the FT8 spot frequency of 50 decimal 313 
megahertz is also mentioned. The closest this will receive is 50.315, but even though this is FM only, if there is a strong opening on 6 metres, the antenna will receive it, and this will stop when it's scanning on the signal. So during the summer it's a good way of knowing when the band is open. Um, the equivalent thing on 10 metres, I think from memory, the uh, FT8 frequency is 28.074 or something like that. So 075 on here, again it will stop if it detects a signal. And the same is true of the repeater outputs on 10 metres between 29.6 and 29.7. I have heard them on here and that's let me know that 10 meters is open i even heard last summer 2020 an fm simplex transmission from a station in scotland on here i'm located on the west sussex coast in the south of england by the way and um okay it's a totally non-resonant antenna obviously but that stopped and the the transmission was audible um, incidentally, the collinear in the attic, uh, the way that's mounted is I found a rake in the shed that wasn't being used and it was perfectly clean. And we've got some big heavy boxes up in the attic. So what I did was I sat the a heavy box on the teeth part of the rake, if that's the right word for them. The handle then sticks vertically upwards, the collinear is then attached to that using a clamp and the top of the collinear then rests against the highest point of the attic and uh, even though it can be slightly drafty in there if it's very windy outside that antenna has never fallen over or shifted or moved so a bit of a tip, tip there about a <laughs> possible way to mount antennas next to that the scanner is the Wushan KG UV8G, the 4 meter, 2 meter version. There is some 4 meter activity locally, although not at the moment. So I do use this to monitor that, but actually, what I use it for more is listening to the news headlines on Radio 4 on the hour. 4 meters, 70 megahertz, is not that far away really from 3 meters. 100 megahertz which is slap bang in the middle of the FM broadcast band. Local FM stations here are moderately strong rather than being uh, sort of 5 and 9 plus 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 but the 4 meter antenna does a really good job of receiving Radio 4 and if I press the programmable button on the side so we're listening on 92.9 anybody who's listening to this who, who's also stopped taking statins which you did at one point so even with the volume turned up as high as it will go there's no background hiss at all so if you've got a four meter dipole it'll double up quite nicely for fm broadcast radio receive and also it's the ideal length for listening to stations in the oirt broadcast band from eastern europe between about 65 and 73 megahertz or whatever the exact frequency is next to that this is a cb handheld by rights so i don't think they're manufactured anymore but you can clip a um a little link in the back to open it up for the 10 meter band and once you've done that if you turn it on and press the menu key which I can't do very easily one-handed um, it gives you a list of options and one of them is PO Papa Oscar not sure what that stands for but I always remember it as possible as in all possible frequencies and uh, if you select that option it will give you the 10 kilohertz steps and you can go up to uh, the top end of 29 megahertz so the repeater outputs uh, the FM simplex channel uh, calling channel rather and even though obviously it's horribly non-resonant as a receive antenna the 4 meter dipole um, works pretty well um, on 10 meters receive 
and as I say as well as hearing the 10 meter repeaters through the 2 meter 70 centimeter collinear through the scanner I can normally hear them a bit better using the 4 meter dipole connected to this the Intec H520 plus incidentally something I've noticed and there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason for this is that with some stations on 4 meters FM I can actually hear them if, if they are moderately strong but not very strong sometimes I can actually hear them better on the scanner through the 2 meter 70 sems collinear than I can through the dedicated uh, Wushan with the proper 4 meter dipole connected funny old world isn't it um, over here if I want a little bit more power on 4 meters I have an Anytone monoband rig that puts out up to about 25 watts there's a, an intermittent problem with this one with the fist microphone everything works all the up down buttons the only drawback is that sometimes when I press the PTT switch nothing happens doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to that um, so again if I was going to use it I would use it mainly on receive uh, rather than relying on it for transmission down here is a lovely a Trio TR9130 that's connected to the two element dipole for SSB um, had a few contacts through that I tried turning it on earlier and nothing happened so I hope it hasn't died altogether or something you know unfixable has gone wrong but uh, that's something I, I need to look at uh, up here is uh, the TYT TH9800 I don't use this rig very much it covers 10 meters 6 meters 2 meters and 70 centimeters the supplied fist microphone is possibly not the best I've had several contacts with people through this rig on two meters and quite a few of them unprompted have commented that the audio doesn't sound quite right somehow they know it's me and it's not distorted or anything but it just doesn't sound like me if you know what I mean so perhaps I might look at a replacement microphone for that and then last but not least the uh, ICOM IC7100 main bit of it sits up there uh, all modes including 4 meters so I can plug any of the antennas up in the attic into the reset into the transceiver there I've got a manual ATU underneath it because I've got a uh, coaxial dipole for 10 meters that I can put up outside when the band is open and because 10 meters is quite a wide band um, well 1.7 megahertz isn't it because it's quite a wide band the SWR can be a little bit high towards the FM frequencies um, it's fine on the CW end and SSB end but um, I do just use that eight antenna matching unit to bring the SWR down a bit and last but not least I'm going to practice with that uh, a little bit more and yes I have had a CWQSO on two meters and it's good fun and I just wish more people would do it more often so that's my thoughts and observations sorry the video is a bit long oh the other thing that's mentioned in Radcom is try listening for the Graves radar in southern France on 143 decimal 050 um, I have heard pings off that very very occasionally on the Uniden and again even though this can only listen in FM if a signal in another mode is strong enough like the pings from the meteors or FT8 on 6 meters or 10 meters then despite the fact it's FM only despite the fact that the antenna is horribly non-resonant it will nevertheless stop when it's scanning so I hope this video is of interest and will encourage you to try things maybe things you haven't uh, thought of before and uh, please leave any comments or questions in the 
in the comments below. I know this is a far from ideal setup and yes I get that there are a million and one things I could do to improve it but as I say I'm not good at clambering up ladders and putting things on roofs because the antennas are in the attic I don't have to worry about waterproofing I can change things around a lot more easily up there because there are um, planks that I can walk across that's floorboards up there I could do all of that a hell of a lot more easily than I could do trying to clamber around on the roof so I hope this is of interest and uh, have fun with your listening and transmitting at VHF and UHF and I'll include 10 meters in that because after all that's almost a VHF band really isn't it 73 this is Mike Zero Mike November Golf signing off